Hi everyone, I'm about to show you all aspects of the Bungie Studio Pro Rebounder. It's an incredible rebounder. Remember some aspects of it? It's a bungee, and that's what we call it, a bungee. So there's bungees running all the way around it, 36 of them. Number one and number two is it has a weight limit of 100 kilograms. So try and avoid, if you're above 100 kilograms, you probably want to pivot over to either our spring or you want to go over to our studio deluxe. Uh, those are your rebounders but anyone at 100, and kilo, 100 kilograms and below this is your rebounder this is a really 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 cool rebounder very simple to set up so when you get it in the box these are all the components so you're going to get the frame with the mat fully assembled on it and the parts and bits that you'll go through i'll go through in a second in terms of the legs the screws the washers and the allen key with the little pamphlet inside um, that's our URL, www.lisaradi.com, so uh, you know, any support from a spares and repairs perspective, go to our spares and repairs area on our website. And some elements about this rebounder when you get it out the box. So you'll notice what I did immediately when, I, when it came out the box, these little uh, rubber, or let me call it, it's not really rubber, these little bands that attach to the mat. There's quite a few of them running all the way around. Now these bands are applicable to the skirt of the mat. So they have no relevance to the, the bounce in any way or form. The purpose of the skirt is to hide away the brackets and the bungee cords when you're on top of the rebounder, right? It, it stops kids from putting their feet through that. It stops you from putting your foot through that. And just from a pure aesthetic perspective, it looks quite neat when your mat's all the way down. Now, if these little rubber bands are not positioned properly, what could happen over time is that the mat will curl. Now again, it has no functional relevance to the rebounder. So in terms of jumping on the rebounder and utilizing the rebounder, should your mat curl up, that's not an issue. But it could cause a safety concern. Because if it's rolled up, you could trip um, and it will expose the bungee cords, which there's an element of safety. So you don't want to be stepping on it or stepping through it. So when you get it, these are going to be loose. If they're not loose, take a look at how they are applied. Sometimes in the box, when you turn it around, sometimes in the box you'll notice that the, these cords are wrapped like that. That's purely because from a packaging perspective where we get them from, they're simply putting them on like that. You want to remove that because one thing you need to remember about these rubber bands, they cannot be put over the frame in, in any circumstance. If you put them over the frame, what the, will result over time is a tear. There will be a tear in the skirt round about this position where it attaches. So you'll get a tear, it'll tear away. And again, if it does tear or yours is torn, it has no functional relevance. It's just from a safety perspective and an aesthetic perspective, you've got to watch out. But what you want to do when you get this, you want to loosen a bungee cord. So I'll t show you this in a second. So when you get it out the box, you're going to take a bungee cord and just literally pull it down. Okay, use two hands with your fingers and pull it up and around the bracket. Now this is the bracket underneath. Let me show you this. That's a little bracket that attaches to your main mat. This is your bungee cord. So these cords, should they wear out, this is how you do it. You, get, we, you contact us, um, you purchase one of these if it's, if it's out of warranty, and you flick it on there, you pull it un, under and over, and that's how you apply the bungee cord or reapply it, right? So you push it down and boom, there you go. Now again, when you do that, remember that your bungee cords, if you take a look at the circumference of your frame, make sure your bungee cords are not split too far open. So you want to push them once you've applied them so they're the width of the bracket or just outside the width of the bracket. So you want to go around, you'll see some of them are not, you know, you're doing that. It's the first time you got your, your rebounder, you just want to like align them. Because remember, in the box they may move, you align them. But the key thing that I want to show you, so you're going to go all the way around and do, doing that, is once you've removed one of these, you want to take this little rubber band and you want to take the bungee cord and weave it through and then go back over again. Okay, so not, don't, do not, let me repeat, do not pull this rubber band over and attach it. Because if you do it, you're going to jump and that's, that's going to tear. You want to take it while it's loose, Take one of the bungee cords, wrap it through, and then bring this back over onto that, and then realign it, and then there you go. Remember, this is just to stop the skirt from wrapping up. Okay, so you're gonna do that with every single one of them. And the elements, again, of this rebounder, quite a few brackets going all the way around, 36. Very easy to apply, reapply a bungee cord on it. 
extremely, extremely simple. From a wear and tear perspective, elements that could wear over months and months and months are your bungee cords. Uh, again, this, this little skirt going all the way around, if you've applied this properly and the skirt is on adequately, it should not turn over. Okay, so watch that. Be careful not to take that rubber band and pull it over. Then in the box, you have six legs. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six legs. There's a little pamphlet. And here I have a little visitor that I'm just going to let go so he doesn't spoil my demo. <laughs> There's a, you get a little pamphlet, cool facts on there. There's a URL that shows you some more aspects of um, where to go to take a look at the user manuals, etc. of the product. You get an Allen key, you've got six screws, and you've got six washers. Just when you apply a leg, remember these washers, has a, they have like a rounded side and they have a flat side. You want to make sure the rounded side falls into the leg. Remember that. I'm going to do that in a second. So what you want to do is apply your legs. Now the legs, in any particular order, very simple. When you, find, when you have a leg, you'll see there's a little indentation on this side of the leg. So when you hold it up in that way, you'll notice on that side there's a little indentation. That indentation aligns to a little outcrop on each leg connector. So I'm going to do this. If you come close and actually take a look at that over there, you'll notice there's a little outcrop associated with that. Let's make sure that the cameraman comes closer so he can capture that. So this is a little outcrop right there. So when I'm applying the leg, I'm putting the leg on top of it and boom, it's like a little puzzle piece and it goes in. Then you want to take your little washer and you want to sink your little washer into that little hole, remember? smooth side down, flatter side up. When I, what I mean by that, so you'll see when you get the washers, they're kind of silvery, shiny on the one side and they kind of have a flat matte feel on the other side. You want to drop that in the shiny side, drop it face down into that hole. You take one of your screws, place that in there and you turn it with your finger until it's a little stiff and then you take the little Allen key and the beginning, I suggest you insert it this way because it's just easier to turn, it's quicker, so you're not scratching your leg. So I'm turning it that way. And when you get closer towards the end where you need to tighten it, um, and you can't turn it that anymore, you tighten it. There you go. And your leg is on. That's what you're going to be doing with every single one of the legs. Let me repeat. When you hold that up, it's got a little indentation and that little indentation aligns to the leg. So you're going to be putting it on like that, throwing, putting the washer in that way, and putting the screw in this way. Turning it with your fingers in the beginning, just to get the threading, and then you're taking the little Allen key, and you're putting it over there, and turning it that way. That's how simple it is to assemble this rebounder. That's it. Once the legs are on, uh, you're good to go. Again, come towards the end when it's a little tight zipper. Take your little Allen key and you turn it, and there you go. Now, you'll notice with, with the, the Studio Pro, the legs come off quite simply. Now, you, what you can do, if you can find the right necessary size washers, um, if you're on an uneven surface or your floor has a particular wobble in it, it's not necessarily the circumference of the rebounder that's the wobble. It may be an uneven floor surface. You can put washers into the leg just to raise them a little bit up off the floor so they touch the floor. Okay, you put washers inside of those feet and I'm going to attach them all the way around. Okay, so now we're at the very end. All our legs are on. Tightened. Now, just a couple of tips and tricks. Keep this Allen key somewhere safe. Uh, put it because you will lose it over time and you will need it. Um, but when you're rebounding, you lift this up and you're rebounding, over time, these screws will come loose. Remember, you are putting a lot of force on the rebounder when you're jumping. So every now and again, I suggest you just lift up your rebounder and establish whether any of the legs are loose. So you want to pick it up and just feel the legs. If any of them are loose, just tighten it up again. Okay, so you want to take the Allen key and just tighten it up again. Then your rebounder is good to go, right? Incredible rebounder. But again, 
some tips. When you get it, make sure every single one of the bungee cords are aligned to the bracket. So you want to make sure that that bungee cord is not split too far apart on the frame and they're not touching. So go all the way around and then neaten up, right? I've still got these loose. You want to make sure that it um, is, uh, has one of these bungee cords woven into it. So just kind of tighten it up and it's well aligned and you're good to go. All right. In terms of mat replacement, over time, lots of usage, you may need to replace your mat for whatever reason. We do have the ability to do completely repair your mat. So if any tear may appear, you know, if you had to ask me what wears and tears on the rebounder that may need replacement and may need attention over time, definitely your bungee cords. So watch your bungee cords. Every, I'd say, six months, depending on usage, make sure that your bungee cords are still okay. Um, and the way to know it is not just the look. You'll find the elasticity of the mat is quite, um, quite loose over time. So the jump becomes harder. That's when you want to start looking at replacing some of your bungee cords. You can go to our and repair site and, and purchase some of them there, the replacement parts. Um, you will find sometimes the brackets tear away from the mat. That does happen over time, but we have the ability to stitch them locally. And we could actually replace this entire mat with a deluxe mat. So just FYI, the circumference of this frame is very similar to the deluxe. So we can actually apply a deluxe mat with deluxe brackets locally made here in South Africa on this Bungie Pro Rebinder. So that's how we could do a complete mat replacement. Now, when you do a mat replacement, I'm not gonna do this in the demonstration, but it's very simple. You're gonna lay your new mat flat out on the ground. You're gonna put the frame of the rebound on top of it, obviously with the previous mat removed. Place it down, and the way you are going to reapply your mat is by looking at each leg, putting the bungee cord on, and then going to the exact opposite leg and putting that bungee cord on and then doing it on that leg and then the corresponding leg, that leg and the corresponding leg and you kind of work your way around applying it. But just remember the compass points you want to do and get those done. So bungee cord on that side, directly opposite on the frame, the other bungee cord and you want to do it that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. So north, south, east, west and then you're kind of going in between those coordinates all the way around and your mat is replaced. It's incredible bungee, really, really simple, very reliable, and uh, we have all the spares and repairs. So, enjoy your Bunty Studio Pro.